All right, hello and welcome to another video in what will be the first part of my everyday carry series. Today we're going to be covering probably the most functional part of my everyday carry, which is this thermos, travel mug, water bottle, whatever you tend to call it. It is from a company that you might have heard whisperings through the grapevine of called Zoji Rushi, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It, I believe, translates to the elephant brand, which makes sense because their logo is a little elephant here. Quite cute little elephant. But uh, I can promise you that their products are everything but cute. There are some pretty high performance thermoses. I actually looked on their website and looked at the statistics for heat retention and exclusion, and they quoted some figures after one hour and six hours for both of those. So I'm gonna admit I kind of let my inner nerd, inner engineer out here and notice that this small little opening is of course the perfect size to fit an ethernet enabled thermometer probe. <laughs> so I couldn't, couldn't curb my curiosity on this one. Uh, I sealed the top with this not so thermally exclusive putty. I, I did a better job than this, I promise. And I left some hot liquid in there for 16 hours and left some cold in there for actually 26 hours. So what I'm gonna do is compare what my results showed to what they promised on the website and let you guys decide kind of what you think. Okay, so this is the first graph that was generated from that ethernet thermometer and it was the heat retention test. And as you can see, we've done it over a whole 15 hours. So nine hours longer than the Zoji Rushi website has done it for. And the reason I did that is because I had to extrapolate backwards a bit. So the Zoji Rushi website used it a starting temperature of 95 degrees Celsius. And as you can see, my initial water temperature was actually only around 88 degrees Celsius. So by extrapolating this trend line, we moved back in time and were able to get up to 95. So once again, the starting temperature at hour zero was 95 degrees Celsius. So starting at 95 and moving down, we're a little over two hours back in time. Jumping ahead one hour and jumping ahead six hours should give us something in line with the Zoji Roshi spec. So they quoted 68 degrees Celsius and 86 degrees Celsius after six and one hour respectively. As you can see on this chart, what we're actually seeing is 88 degrees Celsius and 70 degrees Celsius. So that's a two degree improvement over the Zoji Rushi spec. I should also state that in the room I was testing in, it was exactly 20 degrees Celsius. It's a highly ambient temperature controlled room. So that's exactly what the Zoji Rushi uh, was using in their testing as well. That was quoted on their data sheet. So we're confirming their numbers and actually a slight improvement, which surprised me because remember, I sealed the top of that thermos using silly putty, not by actually closing the lid, which would provide far better heat retention. So right off the start on heat retention, a good sign for Zoji Rushi. Let's move across to the cold water test or the heat exclusion uh, test. So same thing, I didn't quite get down to their four degree starting temperature. I started at five degrees. So as again, we had to extrapolate backwards. Uh, this was a clean extrapolation because this time, as you can see, I used 26 hours worth of data. Again, just under two hours back in time now, and then jumping ahead the six hours, their specification states, we're only up two degrees after six hours. They're stating a change of five degrees. So we're three degree improvement on heat exclusion, which is again, very interesting. They seem to be modest with their, uh, their specifications here especially because I use Silly Putty to seal my thermos. So if anything, this is just proving that there really, really are good thermoses. Uh, after 26 hours, we're still not even at 12 degrees. So like I said earlier in the video, if you put ice in these thermoses, it really will stay in there for days and days at a time. Uh, I went down to Cuba recently and I put some ice cold drink in there and on the beach at 35 degrees in a black thermos, mind you, on the hot sand, my ice never melted the whole day long. These things are absolutely incredible. Their vacuum sealing is some of the best. So I hope that those graphs weren't too nerdy for you guys. I was actually shocked with how accurately my results lined up with theirs with a slight actually improvement on the quality that they quoted. So no over promising on their part. Uh, the colder temp or heat exclusion, I'll say, was far better than they quoted on their website. So that, that kind of surprised me. My room was exactly 20 degrees Celsius, like I said. So kind of odd, but a, a good confirmation of the performance of these. So I like these so much, I've told my friends to get absolutely tons of them. I've got it in black, as you can see, and me being kind of boring guy I am, I've actually got a second one, also in black. 
<laughs> I take these to the office, so I think black is probably the most professional color, but they've got every color under the rainbow. I actually really like their metallic blue color. So I'll leave the links to these down in the description below if you want to pick one up. They'll make a great Mother's Day, Father's Day for golfing, people who just like going outdoors, or people who carry coffee with them absolutely everywhere they go like me. Uh, they're a great present for pretty much everyone. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll pay attention to the rest of my Everyday Carry series, and I'll see you in the next one.